What's up guys, I just wanted to make a very quick video sharing a tip I have for converting your footage from Log to Rec.709 in Premiere Pro. Um, so let's hop inside. So basically here I got a clip in C-Log2 on my Canon C70. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab an adjustment layer, bring it out over the whole clip, and we're gonna duplicate this twice. And so this very top layer is where you're gonna put your conversion LUT. So let's come up here, base correction, input LUT, and then select your conversion LUT. And so the reason this is so important to do it on the very top layer is because Premiere Pro is layer based. So whatever is being done to the top layer is applied to underneath it. Or in other words, you could think about it like the last thing being done to the image is whatever is in the top layer. We want that Rec.709 conversion to be the very last thing done to our image. Um, this is because Rec.709 is a smaller color space to work in. So we don't want to be making changes to a Rec.709 image. We would rather make those changes to our log image. Um, so let's just see what that looks like. So. We have this conversion lot on top, and then here we can do our base correction. So we'll up the contrast, maybe raise the highlights, lower the shadows, uh, white balance looks pretty good, maybe we'll up, up the saturation. And then here we can add a creative LUT. So we'll go here, no, not that one. Yeah, maybe this one, lower it a little bit. Um, and, then, and so there's just the very basic color correction. But so the reason that this kind of structure is important is because these two layers, the base correction and the creative LUT, are being done to that 10-bit log image. Whereas if I had flipped it around and, and put this conversion LUT on the bottom, I would be making those changes to a Rec.709 image. This would result in bit depth loss as well as possible banding and artifacting in your image. So that's basically all I wanted to share. So in your process, I'd, I'd recommend taking this adjustment layer, putting it out over your whole clip, uh, applying that conversion lot on the top and then doing your uh, LUT and base corrections underneath that. So I hope this helped and thank you guys for watching.